All the cardinals are now in place to pick the next pope. And some signs of a struggle over who it should be and how long it will take. ABC's David Wright is on the scene in Rome. And David, some big news coming today. That's right, George. In a briefing that's going on now, moments ago, the Vatican spokesman spoke the words that 4,000 accredited journalists and millions of Catholics around the world have been waiting for, that the vote to go into a conclave is expected this afternoon. Good morning, Dan. This morning, the paparazzi seemed especially interested in the American Cardinals. In a week with no news, they've been the only diversion. The Italian newspapers full of headlines. The Americans are trying to hijack the process by resisting pressure from the Italian Cardinals to convene the conclave right away. And today, this quote from Cardinal Whirl of D.C., the conclave will not be short. An early vote favors the insiders. And that means, above all, the people well known in Rome. That includes all of the Italians. Until now, the excuse not to start had been that all 115 voters had yet to arrive. Last night, Vietnam's Jean Baptiste Femme took that excuse away, taking his seat with the other cardinals. The other excuse that the Sistine Chapel wasn't ready. Now the windows are blackened. The chimney installed, okay, today. and a device called a Faraday cage is being installed to prevent electronic eavesdropping. There's nothing in the Constitution that says that they can't meet on weekends, so they could possibly meet on Saturday. So the big news, uh, we're looking forward to the possible beginning of the conclave. Reading the tea leaves in the Italian newspapers, and they have, should be taken with a grain of salt, the factions that appear to be emerging have the Italians on one side and the Americans on the other. The Italians advancing possibly a Latin American candidate. The Americans arguing that the church needs a new sheriff, and that sheriff could be Timothy Dolan, Sean O'Malley, or Mark Willette of Canada. George? Okay, the struggle has already begun, but what exactly will happen once the date for the conclave is announced? Well, according to the Constitution, a couple things have to happen. They have to set a mass, a special mass for the election of a pope. Then the 115 voting cardinals withdraw into the Sistine Chapel. For the duration of the conclave, they will be living in a place called Santa Marta House. That's a Vatican dormitory, not uh, plush accommodations, but fairly comfortable, George. Okay, David, thanks very much. And Diane Sawyer will be in Rome anchoring ABC News' special coverage of the papal conclave, choosing the new pope. Josh will be there as well, the whole ABC News team.